Welcome to the video. My name is Agent 00 Sonic, and in this video, I'm creating a Winnie the Pooh painting. But not just this Winnie the Pooh or this Winnie the Pooh, but the classic, the original Winnie the Pooh. Sit back, relax, and we're going to go back to past me. Take it away. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just the canvas that we're using for us an 18 by 24. And then after that, we're going to work on the concept art while it is drying. And just like any other project I've done, I decided to gesso the canvas in a few coats. That way I have a good foundation to work on. And it was time to start working on the concept art. Doing super rough sketches because the art style for the original Winnie the Pooh kind of was rough. Um, I will say though, I had to do a lot of research because I did not realize the designs of all the main characters, you know, uh, Roo, Kanga, Tigger, so on and so forth, had such unique designs. So right now I have a very rough sketch of it. I'm gonna take a picture of it, take it over to the iPad, work on it a little bit, see if I wanna switch things around, put a little bit of color and everything like that. And then once we finish that, it will be time to actually draw out the final version of it. And then we're gonna take it over to the canvas with the Soral transfer paper. This thing right here, yeah. This is amazing. All right, so here we go. Here's a little time lapse of the iPad work. And here's part of the iPad footage that I used on Procreate. It was a lot easier to do this on a smaller surface than working on an entire 18 by 24 sketchbook. Plus, it also let me have a chance to do a lot of fine tuning and changing without erasing. I will say I am very happy I got to do this. It was easier to put the colors down on the iPad than trying to do it on an 18 by 24 sketchbook. That's a massive error to edit. And as you can see, Okay, so the paint we're using is actually from Sherman Williams. The paint code is going to be 6304 Press Flower. See if I can boop, like so. I picked this up originally back in September. I haven't opened it, but yeah, that's the color that they wanted the back of it to match. So we got that and we are going to do it. I don't need this much paint, so we're probably gonna end up We've got a lot of paint. Hello, Future Sean here. So this part right here actually had so much more to it. There was a whole little side view and everything like that. But somewhere between data being transferred from my camera onto the computer, all they got corrupted. I'll, I'll show you a quick little sample of it right here real quick. You see that? Ooh. That happened for pretty much a huge chunk of the video. So I made it with what I got. Sorry, there's like a lot of quick random segments and very short pieces. Okay, I just had to do that. So go ahead and do your thing. Past me, future me to the past, past me. Thank you, past, future me or the past. So once the iPad version was done, I decided to just go ahead and work on the 18 by 24 actual sketchbook. That way we have this for the canvas. I could have done it through the projector, but I just felt like it would have been more organic because the last time I did it, if you saw this video right here, I... Definitely should have just used the raw transfer paper. So, moment of truth. Dun da da da. I can only hold this photo so long. Oh. Well, go ahead and go back to the drawing board or sketchbook. So, go ahead and speed this up real quick. Press down a little bit harder with the ballpoint pen, and it's a little bit better. So, now we are using the golden acrylic, heavy body, cadmium yellow, cerulean blue, and last primary, cadmium yellow, medium hue. Oh, and for like different hues and tones and stuff and to make it easier, we had titanium white and carbon black. All right, it was time to start mixing our colors on our Stay Wet palette. But first, some satisfying openings of these new paints and some pretty cool mixing of the colors, if I do say so myself. And now promptly about four minutes in, it is time to start painting what you all came here for. What I decided to do to make it easier for me all of the parts of the painting that were the same tone, I decided to work with that. I didn't work on Kanga because she, in the original sketch, was a little bit darker than the other two. Eeyore's color uh, complexion was so satisfying to work on. And then onto Piglet. Piglet was this super vibrant pink and I had to make sure there was enough contrast from the pressed flower um, background because I did not want that to blend in. Next, we went to uh, Winnie the Pooh himself. Yes, I know the original Winnie the Pooh did not have a shirt, 
but it was just too iconic not to have it. This yellow I originally was gonna keep after I did a first coat on them, and of course you know it's yellow so I needed multiple coats, I felt like it was too bright. So I went and I ended up mixing a little bit of colors and I ended up making like a little bit darker of a yellow. But for now, it's time to sit back, relax, let the music carry us through, and do a nice little montage. Pass me, take it away. Well, there you have it. If you like the video, go ahead and do the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, all that good jazz, and peace, love, and hot sauce. Until next time, thanks for watching.